That's my name in proper Shanghai dialect. Not a Lieutenant Liu. People don't even pronounce my name correctly these days. You know, it's very tough to be a crime fighter. In all police department, I'm the only one who has the right combination of Western technology and Oriental philosophy. Guess what? Nobody you... All right. Confucius says, Subdue oneself and uh, obey the rules of propriety. Modest, modest. I'm a modest man. But I also am a descendant of Judge D, the wise governor of Bianliang, capital of Northern Song Dynasty. Imagine, 1,000 years ago, this prosperous capital of China is the center of civilization. The scholarly, wise, and powerful Judge Li ruled this densely populated city. Uh, he did less but achieved more. Now, every time I dream about this, I feel like I'm part of this long lasting history. Well, I am actually a captain now. My promotion is because of my successful handling of this Arthur Wise case. This is Arthur Wise. When my eyeballs are stationary, press the button, but don't tell me when. Well educated with a PhD in EOET. He is supposedly an excellent laser scientist, but a bit enthusiastic, to say the least. He shoots a laser beam into his own eyeball. <laughs> a resolution test, he calls it. What does it read? Resolution 0 0.1257. Uh, yes! The resolution of the Y28 laser on ocular surgery is finally determined. All I have to do now is exhibit the old eyeball. Real exhibitionist, huh? Come on, why don't you try it? No, no, I can't be your guinea pig. My wife's already made me hers. She's testing to see how long a man can go without having sex. <laughs> what, what, you don't believe in this innovative research? Huh? I'll bet you two World Series tickets. You're on. Okay. Okay, shut your eyes for a minute. slowly. When he tries this resolution test on his assistant, he kills him instantly. Too much education may be hazardous to your health. I don't see any serial number on this equipment. I can see this is a Spectra TR6 laser, but how about the, the model code number and the shipping information? Uh, right? Lieutenant, some of that information is top secret. Oh, isn't that right? That's why we're here for, isn't it? To find out some information we're not supposed to know. Carry on. Bro. <laughs>
No, I didn't. If you're not going to be talking to with me now, you will later. Uh, to precinct. Lubaba. <clears throat> um, how long is this going to take? Joey, don't tell me you're part of this. Not at all. You, I'm, I'm just Arthur's brother-in-law, and I, I want to know what's going to happen to him. Well, he'll be cleared. Don't we ever learn? Modern technology kills. Three months later, Arthur is cleared in court, but he becomes unemployable. <laughs> Joblessness creates hope, if you can afford it. Have you made any effort in seeking employment? Yes. What's your profession? I'm a scientist. Say what? This is Arthur's mother, Ruth Wise, quite attractive for her age, who believes she has a Chinese soul trapped in a Jewish body. Soup mm. last. Mm. Mm. How interesting. That's right. This is an authentic Chinese dinner. Soup always comes at the end of the meal. Wait until you taste it. Once about in soy sauce. I was brought up on it. Ruth has been a full-time Chinese lady for many years. She cooks the most dreadful Chinese food. Good and nutritious. She married off her redhead daughter Martha to Arthur's buddy Joey Chung. This marriage is the worst displacement of Yin and Yang. But the friendship between Arthur and Joey remains. More interviews next week. Ah, just keep trying. I never hear anything from them once they check into my background. Wonderful, elegant. I wish I could read it. <laughs> Someday I'll tell you. <laughs> Listen, here is a new business proposal, and we can make tons of money together. Mom, well, not that old routine again. Give us a break, please. Thanks, Joey, but I'm only a laser man. What could I do in your business, whatever that may be? You snob. We can do plenty of things together. Arthur! I mean, you used to be smart, too. Mom, leave him alone. Education ruins your mind. Your mom is killing me. M Mother, you're hurting him. Oh, no, it won't hurt for long. All right. Tell me, Arthur, how come your last name is Weiss? What, as opposed to Weissberger? You know what I mean. Martha and you aren't exactly twins. When you have a Jewish mother, anything is possible. Ha <laughs> ha! Exactly. My mom is Jewish. Oh, you don't say. Mom, you'll get dizzy. I do Tai Chi. I take herbal medicine every day. Mother, just listen to me. And I almost have a good son. Almost. Except when I tell him to marry a Chinese girl, he suddenly becomes deaf. <laughs> I, I tried. There's too many cultural differences. <laughs> Joey Chung, a small-time Chinatown wheeler dealer, always looking to make a big deal. He once sold a bunch of high-tech rifles. For sale of special long-range rifles. And later, supply the buyer with obsolete ammunition. A very important clue I missed. Confucius says, I have not seen one who loves virtue as much as he loves sex.
This Joey is a true believer of Confucius. Today, FOB, fresh off the boat Chinese girl, is his target. Hey, baby, if you like the food here, I bet you've never been to Hong Kong, right? I speak Chinese. Chinese? Hey, my personal favorite is Chinese. But I didn't think it was the most beautiful girl and the most beautiful girl. You speak Chinese very well. Hey, I've What do you Hey,在纽约没有好人啊。哎，李燕一到其他地方去嘛，比如说呃，拉斯维加斯。我最喜欢拉斯维加斯。Here we come, Las Vegas. <笑>有一天我要环游世界 古典音乐。嗯。好啊。哎，taxi。哎哎，用我送你回家啊？不用了，我自己走。我我是不是说错了哇？我明天再打电话给你。Bye。Okay。Bye。Walking in streets of New York City, listening to the rap go down. Looking at the ugly and the pretty, it's a crazy town. My father told me, an honest gentleman should never stand next to a pig. But if someone has been unemployed as long as Arthur, he may have to carry a pig to make an honest living. Guess what? What? I met a gorgeous Chinese girl. Hi. Two seventy-five a pound. Hi. Should be more than all right. You're the son of a top scientist. 
Genetically speaking, you should be great at... All right. Here I come. <laughs> Going to that boarding school you talked about? Whenever. Gee, I'm impressed by your enthusiasm. Wasn't it your idea to go to St. Francis, that school with the smart uniforms and the shining daggers hanging on the belt? No, it was Roger's idea. Roger? Who's this Roger character? He lives with us now. He what? He wants to get rid of me so he can be alone with Mom all the time. And well, what does your mom say about this? Nothing, but it's all right. It's not all right? Who is this guy anyway? He's telling my son to go to a boarding school and I end up paying for it? That's it cool with your mom. Pops. Roger's an actor, supposedly. Mom thinks he's handsome. Oh, yeah? Look, I don't know and I don't care. I do know that he stays in the bathroom a lot, blow drying his hair. Blow drying? Uh-oh, gotta go. Here. Connie, the payment will come. I'm going to sell this condo. You're not listening to me, Connie. Connie, we... Exactly. I feel the same way. You don't have to... Cut. Hey, I can be abusive too, Cut. Same to you! <laughs> Connie, you just can't... Yeah, yes. Yes, I am familiar with laser technology. Uh, yes, I can be there, of course. Mm -hmm. well, what did you say the name of your company was? Very well. Can you start Monday? Next Monday? Oh, yes. Oh, of course, I, I can start next Monday. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Weiss, don't you care to know how much you're going to make? No, I mean, I don't have any doubt you'll pay me a competitive salary. Well, of course. But come back. I want to tell you about us. We're a small research company. In this case, the problem began when Arthur found a job. Just as a birth will definitely lead to a death. Joey, here's the list.
May I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for a gift for my mother. She's heavily into Chinese culture. Excuse me. What are you going to give me that five dollars? You promised me. You Out. promised me. Out. Out. Your mother would probably recognize this. this. This is very nice. There's an inscription on the back. I'm sure you've seen it before. Cha Kui. Chen Kun. It's been a long time since my Chinese school days. You and my mother would get along perfectly. <laughs> But by the way, do you believe in reincarnation? I don't know. Why? You know, sometimes how a soul can be trapped in the wrong body, it enables you to do all kinds of things, like uh, cook exotic dishes or speak in a foreign language. I love languages. In fact, I can speak six or seven fluently. I always thought it was a gift. Maybe it is reincarnation. <laughs> gift. Hi, I'm Janet Cosby. Arthur. Arthur Weiss, a genuine admirer of a good-looking linguist. If to pick or to be picked is the question, the answer is... Yes? Who is it that you're looking for? Uh, delivery. Uh-huh. Just in time. The person who understands more prefers to be picked because he doesn't want to be responsible for the consequences and it makes him feel important. Here is another quotation from my father. If you don't determine your own fate, your fate will be determined for you. better idea. I, I guess you don't believe in making love on the first date. has arrived. How nice. Have fun with it. Yes, sir. I will. Thank you. Hey, that voice. I swear I've heard it before. Yeah, he sounds like James Mason. It's the guy who uh, delivered those rifles. you didn't get me any bargain basement equipment. Oh, cross my heart. Quality stuff. Nothing but the best. So one day, I receive a memo from the commissioner's office. Sensitive high-tech equipment missing from government facility. All parts related to Star Wars project. Deals. What kind of sign language is that, huh? I think he means the Fifth Amendment, sir. Oh, yeah? Do you know what this is in Chinese? <laughs> That's you. You're a prick with no tip. Get him out. Let's go.
Next. <laughs> I have absolutely no leads, but someone out there is making deadly laser weapons. All we're doing here is try to put some information together. Here's the question. Have you made any arm sales recently? Ma! Speak English, will you? This is business. Uh, I mean, no. Uh, but I just made a big deal on some household appliances. You know, inexpensive, but high quality. Look, look here. Authentic GE icebox, uh, 35 by 65, only cost you 259 bucks. And also, the microwave oven made in Japan. Did you say microwave? Yeah, Uncle Luke. Take a look. It's brand new. Hmm. I'll let you have it for half price. Hi, how are you? I'm very pleased to meet you. Your dad told me a lot about you, and boy, he was right. You're very cute. Hi. It wouldn't hurt if you were a little bit more sociable. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. How about you? I'm all right. Oh, oh, we should have the longleaf fish. It looks wonderful tonight. And you have to have the tangy and chicken here. It's great. And of course, my old standby, fried tofu stuffed with pork. And the hot pot with eight treasures. We can't miss that. So when do we start with the salty duck eggs and the mustard green soup? No, I'm sold. Good. Tell me, how's your love life? It's all right. Dad, can I talk to you? Go ahead, talk. Alone. What have you told me? Well, I haven't told her much. How much does she know about my love life? Practically nothing, or is there that much to know? I don't like her. Ruth, would you please sit down and play? Just a minute. I'll be with you in a second. I melted. You melted. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. 
a hit. Oh, uh -huh. Sorry to disappoint you, ladies. I'll win again. <laughs> 20 big ones, please. Thank you very much, Lieutenant. You're not excluded. There you go. Ruth, how is Arthur these days? You know, a funny thing happened to me this morning. Two of my songbirds were chirping in unison. You know what that means. It means I'm about to win. <laughs> what did you ask me, Lieutenant? Your son, Arthur. Is he working these days? Please, don't talk to me about my son when I'm gambling. It's very bad luck. You, you know, you're not the object of my sexual relief. I, I, I'm not suggesting that. You know that I'd love to make love to you, if only you'd get a blood test. I've had my blood test. That was more than six months ago. What about your blood test? You bastard! What am I doing here? Why am I suffering through this? I I'm not even really Jewish. Uh, chapter 39, more advanced foreplay. Just stop abusing yourself. It's none of your business. Ah, uh -huh. oh, now you see, you just have to mention his name, and and I lose. Oh, come on, Lieutenant. Pay attention to the game. You're losing terribly. What else is new? May I ask you something about Joey? What do you want to know? I overheard he's doing some trading, high-tech trading, military equipment, all those things, not through a regular channel, if you know what I mean. Rubbish. Joey is not the kind of... Ah, oh, no. Stop interrogating me, Lou. You leave your work at the office. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Next次好不好? 
made love to a Chinese woman before. Guard yourself with condoms all the time. All our girls here are certified healthy. Try our new flexible thin tender tongue condom. It fits any size. Why don't you learn to enjoy Mahjong? Maybe you'd win once in a while. I gotta tell you something. You look terrible. You look so pale. Stick out your tongue. What'd you do? You went back to that horrid Sichuan restaurant again? You'll never learn. Don't you realize that excessive MSG diminishes a man's potency? <laughs> that is the least thing I worry about these days. Your son never returns my phone call. He doesn't return mine either. <laughs> Why does he leave a message on his machine? I talk to the machine all morning. I feel so stupid. Besides, his machine leaves this squeaky noise. This is ridiculous. I talk to a machine, watch a machine, and what next? Probably screwing the machine. <laughs> that will be the day. That's my ultimate revenge, probably. You know why? Machines screw me up thoroughly these days. Yeah, that's why I talk to my dog a lot. We feel each other's vibes every time. He can answer the phone. And he screams all my calls. And you know how he does it? Hmm. High technology, of course. Bad luck. Ugh. She invites you into her bedroom and you bang each other's brains out? Not quite. She's a bit, I don't know, weird. Oh, some people just have it made. We will fall for you all the time. I don't get it. I wouldn't mind having a taste of one of you real women. Watch it, Martha. May I have you bugged? <laughs> Martha, that's a laugh. She passionately ignores sex. That's Martha. That's my sister. He doesn't tell me anything anymore. Well, don't you talk to him? Or, uh... No, Mother. He doesn't touch me at all. Listen. He's a responsible Chinese man. He'd never divorce you. I should be overjoyed by this, I suppose. Many marriages have survived affairs. They're not important. It doesn't matter. That's easy for you to say. You don't have a relationship. You never had a real relationship with any man. All you care about is your Chinese soul. I'm sorry, Mom. Listen. I know you blame me for pushing you into this marriage, but right now, your man needs someone. Someone strong. See, Lao Tzu says, softest is strongest. Don't tell me you're really weak, and that's why you act like such a bitch. Can you keep a secret? Yeah, you know me. Yeah, forget it. Lieutenant, let me help you. You know it's policy to help senior members of the department. Thank you. I never remember that you were so considerate. Where's this baby go? Go to the vault for recovered stolen goods. You won't believe how I recovered this damn thing. I'm dying of curiosity. Yeah. Man, it is heavy. You betcha. You think you're talking about? Please tell me you're a specific problem. Why are you stolen? Yes, yeah. Yeah. You you with that madam dear. It's a thing. Oh ying. Oh ying. Oh, say wait, say wait, say wait. Yeah, yeah no, yeah no. Yeah. 
What do you want? CJ, where are you? Hey, who's your name? This is the boss of the company. Hey, CJ, where? Oh my God! Disappeared. CJ, the fugitive. What a nerve. Yeah, what do you want? Oh, yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> Commissioner. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't. Yeah. Yes, yeah, uh, Commissioner. Yes, yes, I, I certainly will, will do it. In a few days, I'll give you. Yes, yes. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, really, really. In a few days. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Sergeant Williams. Sergeant Williams, sir. Oh, you're here. I want you to put a tail on Joey. Joey, sir? That Joey? Yes, that Joey. See the laser better, silly. Me? Any more trick step? I mean, chief scientist of the coherent light. It's not a trick, son. It's solid science. Jimmy, look at this. Progressing. Very well, Mr. Hansen. It works like a charm. Would you like to see it on power mode? No, I saw it last week. Uh, when is the field test? We just had one last week. Ah, yes. Yes, now I remember. That's when I saw it turned on. We've analyzed all the data from the last field test, and it meets most specifications. What? What did you say? As a well-intentioned, peace-loving scientist, Arthur never felt the need to know what his boss was up to or what his research was going to be used for. This must have been Joey's idea. Don't they know secrets bring danger? Come on. Ignorance produces courage. Well, I think these two are not Chinese enough. But I'm glad they did it anyway.
Arthur, just concentrate. Breathe slowly and you'll begin to feel everything just settle down. You know, someday we're going to work ourselves into a coma. Oh. Thanks for keeping me company. I'm feeling much better. You're welcome. I'm just doing my job. <laughs> Let's do something. We are doing something. What? We almost fell asleep on each other. No. We're feeling each other's energy patterns. You have very gentle vibes. <laughs> Thank you. I feel your feeble flirt. Meditation is holy. It can elevate you to a plateau that's serene. Abed Akimoto gives seminars on orgasms through meditation. What? <laughs> do you have to do it in someone's presence? Hold his hand at least? No. Not if you know what you're doing. Of course, I'm not that good at it yet. <laughs> Thank God you're not. So this, this Abbot Okamoto, does he have children? He's a holy man. He's probably a very rich man. His technique sure is marketable nowadays. Come on, Janet. Wait, wait, it's coming. <laughs> that was easy. I, I wasn't of any help, was I? Quiet. What's coming? I see a warrior on a horse. <laughs> How interesting. Uh, uh, does he have a hairy chest? I'm reading your previous life. Really? I was a warrior? What about you? W were you my horse and we... Uh... <laughs> You're an Indian warrior. American Indian or Indian Indian? Here comes a cavalry man. He's chasing after you. I don't really care for this scenario. He shoots once, twice, three times. You were killed by the cavalryman. That's it? That's my past life? Well, it's just one of the many. You probably have about 35,000 of them. I'd be more than happy to read another one for you. No, a one life per day is plenty. <laughs> well, you were quite handsome. You know, I knew there had to be something positive about my past. This music is driving me nuts. Even these two sound more pleasant than that music. What is this? They're speaking in an ancient language. What, you, un you understand what they're saying? You understand this? Well, it's not making much sense. Is this a recording of an old film? It sounds pretty nasty. Yeah, it's a terrible script. You're talking about some scheme. I'm going to play it back, and you tell me what they're saying, word for word, if you can. OK. All right, 10.30. 10.30. What? Night. OK, 10.30 PM. Oh, consul. Okay, mission. Some someplace near the UN mission. Excessive knowledge is worse than too much MSG. On top of losing potency, you get scared. This is not even my car! Can 
hands and do it up. Joey's whereabouts. I'm just a cashier in his chicken store. I wouldn't look for him even if he was in jail. Maybe he's there. Sis, this is important. Have you seen him? Where is he? I don't know where he is. Probably running around with some of his sluts. Oh, Mr. Wise! <laughs> what a surprise. Welcome. I have been expecting this too. You know, I talked to your mom the other day. We're both the board member of a Chinese cultural center. How about that? <laughs> uncle Luke, stop calling me uncle, okay? I came back from Shanghai. Guess what? I checked the family tree, we're not even related. <laughs> <laughs> from now on, our relation is strictly business. No, oh, Uncle Luke, uh, we brought you something. Look at this. Thumb cuffs. Clever, isn't it? I brought it back from Shanghai Police Bureau. Clever. Ingenious, I tell you. Shanghai people. <laughs> Look at this. Eh -huh. eh -huh. Oh, 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 I can't get it out, eh? Hey, Sergeant! Sergeant Williams! Quick, quick, quick! That hurt! Woo! Thank you. Look, Lieutenant Lou, I don't see why I'm still needed. We know there's a crime about to happen, but we need something more solid before we can move on. Arrest them before they commit the crime! On what charge? Anything! You guys arrest people all the time! Charge them with disturbing the peace! The only charge I have here is stealing military equipment. Well, that's fine! Hey, now wait a minute! And both of you are major suspects. We're being bugged. Bugged? That's right. That's absolutely forbidden. Why didn't I know? It's made in the USA. It matters to all of us. Haven't you guys ever heard of microelectronics? Ah, uh, well, we have a little uh, budgetary consideration. Okay, listen, Einstein. Press once for on and twice for off. Try it. And the battery's only gonna last 12 hours. Uh, th this is so primitive. From now on, we start 24-hour surveillance. Keep in touch with Sergeant Williams every hour on the hour. Understand? So what do I do? Just act normal, will you? When you need us, we'll be there. Trust us, you're in good hands. After all, we're the professionals. <laughs> Oi. Oh.
was almost there. I've completely lost my mind. Have you waited long? I was afraid something happened to you. Maybe she was some ugly guy. Oh, my kidding. Dad, why do you want me to steal Janet? I came here to stay with you. Because I need to work at night now. You can't stay alone at my place. Look, look, uh, why don't we go to Auntie Martha's? No, her butcher shop smells. Well, then stay with Grandma. All right, but she'll force me to drink Chinese herb soup. Tastes like Mom's leftover coffee. Jesus. Wake up, sleepyhead. What are you, living on Tokyo time? Well, I couldn't sleep, so I took some pills. I guess they're really knocked me out. Some pills? Yeah, that's worried. Yeah, we were afraid during meditation your soul came out of your body and got lost in the subway station. Hey, wise guy, go to the kitchen. I have some business to do with Janet. I think it's tonight. Tonight? Um, I left some homework for him. Make sure he gets all the answers right. Okay. Uh, what? Uh, Akimoto seminar starts late tonight at the temple. I've already registered. Oh, Christ! I mean, must you go? <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, drop Jimmy off at my mother's place early. Jimmy! Champ, come here. Come here. Look, I'll be back tomorrow. If not, I'll see you at Granny's place. Janet will take you there. Make sure you do your homework and get it done early. Every answer has to be right. All right. I don't particularly like this. Can't you call in sick? I'm afraid not. Hansen has no criminal record. He was a government agent, then a private investigator. Now he's an international arms dealer. Hello? Oh, uh, Sergeant Williams. No, nothing yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, OK. Yes. Bye. We think he's going to kill someone tonight. Otherwise, it's all questions and no answers. Finished. Oh, good. I want a drink. You can go get that yourself. Uh, Jimmy? I don't think these answers are correct. How did you do this problem? That isn't right. You have to multiply and divide first, and then add and subtract. Your teacher must have shown you this. But your father must have taught you this. My father yells at me every time I make a mistake in my homework. He means well. No, he hates me. Says my math is a humiliation to a scientist father. I haven't done anything right my whole life. 
our only chance of nailing Hanson's author. No, 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 that's okay. No, no, I know where that is. Yeah. My Buddha. Um, okay, okay. Fine. But one must be patient, as patient as a pensive virgin. Well, a virgin in ancient China, that is, and as nimble as a running rabbit. Come on, say something, Arthur. Where are they? Just around 26 and Pine. Hey, that uh, 24th Street pizza parlor is still open. They're stopping at the corner of 8th and St. Ignatius. Brenda, Brenda, quick, 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 quick. My Buddha, 25 VIPs live in that area. We gotta move, Sergeant. Sergeant Willem? Hello. What? Where are they? Where are they? Hey, let's move, can't you? Come on. This budget cutting business is ridiculous. We're in police vehicle now. Move. This is the sixth floor, isn't it? Silence, please. Ah. Lieutenant! Lieutenant, I've lost him! Something must have happened! There goes my promotion. Why don't I ever have a car chase sequence? 1956. Sir, the elevator never came. This must be a city government building. How about the stairways? It may lead to the sixth floor. No! Come on, move out. We're taking the stairs. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Way, we have the honor of having the chief engineer present. Arthur, do us the honor of putting the final touch on your creation. I uh, assume that, that that window is the target? Yes, sir. May I have a peek? Uh, it, it's, it's on cow mode. Uh, switch, switch down is power mode. Good. Uh, 
I don't believe this. You need to go upstairs. I think we lost him, sir. You know, some of you guys, there's a name for guys like you. It's called buttheads, all right? You guys are a piece of work. Mr. Hansen, there, there's nothing more I can do here. I, I'd like to leave. But I find this a bit unusual. You're the chief scientist in this project. This is the very critical moment of all your hard work. This is the ultimate test of your laser. Yes, I, I know, but... Uh... But we may need you in case things don't go according to plan. Good. You've decided to stay. I签证下个礼拜到期。刚刚每一样事情，我总是最后一个才知道。为什么你不早一点告诉我呢？ I现在不再告诉你喽。我想时间差不多了。哎，叔叔，不要走啊！我想我的咖啡厅现在也不能开了。不过总有一天，哎，咖啡厅我可以买一家给你，但是请你不要走，好不好？Please。好，然后呢？你天天来这里看我。Mr. Hanson, I, I can't go through with this. Why not? Because I'm not a murderer. I can't just sit here and press a button and kill someone. You can't. But you've killed someone before. That was an accident. I, I was cleared in court. It, it, it was an accident, a stupid mistake. Accident or mistake is exactly why we hired you. And uh, we've paid you handsomely. I don't know why you're complaining. Mr. Hansen, I'm, I'm not complaining. I thought we understood each other. I, I, I'm a moral person. I have principles. I... <laughs> moral principles, yes. Tell me about them. Thou shalt not kill. Let me ask you one thing. Did you ever work on any defense projects? That's different. Oh, indeed. The new weapons developed by the Defense Department kill hundreds of thousands of people. Yet, as a research scientist, you don't have to pull the trigger. Nice and clean. No principles involved. People like you are the best products of our educational system. One day you'll be replaced by a robot you designed. <laughs> <laughs>
Target visible. Target closing in. All right, Arthur, you're going to make a unique contribution to science. Assume your position. When the target is centered, Arthur, you will press the button. Switch to power mode. Track it. Engaged. Now! This will be the final field test. If this test is successful, we will terminate the experimental part of the project. Your services will no longer be needed, Arthur. I understand. Do you mind if I check something? Sure, go ahead. She's in good shape. Arthur, I'm a reasonable man. Last night's experiment was a smashing success, but you're the only man who doesn't belong in our organization. You don't accept our goals. I, uh, I'm afraid you must be eliminated. Th that's not fair, Mr. Hansen. Run! I I've cooperated with you all along! This is your only chance! Run! Target found. Now. Get him! Now!
I finally reached it. But I need a subject. You were marvelous last night. Make sure the news will be on front page on every newspaper tomorrow. Don't argue with me. Just go ahead, do it, will ya? I love you, Arthur. <laughs> Let me call Martha for you. It was very clever, Arthur. Please come with me. Slowly, don't make any sudden moves. No. Don't be foolish, Arthur. It won't take long. You. I won't hurt anyone. I give you my word. Look, I've even brought the suitcase here. Just a quick little fix. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want him. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still water. He restores my soul. Yes. Go I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Nobody leaves until the funeral is over. Lieutenant, he has Jimmy! Right. But I'll get you soon. When I do, I'll get you good.
please. Assume your position. Over there! Be careful! Hands off my gun, you butthead. Let me go! Let me check. go! I know my gun. Get it up! Thumbs up. I say, give me your thumbs. Supposed to be dead. Hey, it's not easy to kill a Chinaman. It, it's, it's scientifically impossible that you're still alive. No, you were right on target. What do you mean? Remember, you wanted me to bring some 800 watt power supplies. Yeah. So? They're costly. So I just get an 80 watt job and paint an additional zero on so them. So an 80 watt can still kill you. Wait a minute. Shattering the glass window absorbed most of the impact, so the laser energy could hardly make a scratch after that. You lucky dog. Hey, you bastard, you made some money off of me. <laughs> Arthur! <laughs> hey, this is a beauty. You're a real genius. <laughs> I hope you don't mind if we keep it as uh, Exhibit A. Uh, not at all, Lieutenant. Do you mind if I do one last check on it? It's all yours. Well, I expect you show up for the funeral. I didn't expect you all showed up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, that's the end of Arthur Wise's case, I hope. In my humble opinion, I should have been promoted a long time ago. But people think I'm lucky. I didn't exactly know and plan everything. Oh. How could you? To me, the absolute hell is when, even though it's pitch dark. <laughs> you still see everything in complete detail. That's absolute hell. Excuse me. Ruth invited me to dinner tonight. I have to protect my stomach here. Mm. Rose, 
first time you look a hundred percent Chinese. <laughs> Cut it out, Luke. Come on down. Your soup is getting cold. Uh, Lubo, uh, hey. Oh, who's this beautiful lady? This is my good friend, Janet Cosby. How are you? Martha, you look wonderful. Oh, I think I'm too late for Jimmy. dinner, isn't it? No, you still got time to have my soup. Jimmy. It's special. Jimmy. Come on now, finish your soup, dear. Oh, now, Lou, if you don't like that soup, you're just not Chinese enough. What? I'm not Chinese enough. I even look Chinese. <laughs> All I need.